with the study being positive, it, uh, Vitinib got FDA approved for the treatment of metroid thyroid cancer. However, one of the concerns that FDA had was an um, increase in QTC uh, interval and whether that could lead to further cardiac events. Very few people actually had a cardiac event in the study, but it still was a major concern of the FDA. Because of that concern, uh, the FDA mandated that in order to be able to prescribe ventitinib, um, physicians would need to undergo uh, registration, which is basically involves a short online course where they describe um, the side effects of ventitinib and what their recommendation is in terms of e uh, watching with an EKG for further QTC prolongations including when, at what time, you should, the drug should actually be stopped, letting the QTC prolongation, QTC interval go back towards normal, and then restart it at a lower dose. It is not completely clear that the starting dose, the dose used in the study of 300 milligrams daily, is the best dose um, for the treatment of metroid thyroid cancer. There has been a phase two study using 100 milligrams daily that looked as good as other phase two studies, and that was one of the concerns also the FDA had, whether this was really the best dose or not, and at, would it, at a lower dose, would there be less toxicity? That being said, it did show a significant improvement in progression-free survival at the dose of 300 milligrams, and that is the recommended FDA-approved uh, dosing for the uh, drug.